Thousands of school children in the U.S. capital have had their first taste of Singaporean food this past week. It was the result of an innovative partnership between the Singapore Embassy and the city's public school system. Generally speaking, stir-fried bihoon doesn't find a regular place in the kitchens of Washington's public school system. But Wednesday was Singapore Day for more than 20,000 children attending 120 public schools throughout the U.S. capital. The Singaporean embassy had worked for months on this project, finding a menu that would satisfy the demanding palates of Washington's youth and working with the school chefs, teaching them the tricks of a Singaporean kitchen. We're an island about the size of Washington, D.C. Ambassador Ashok Mirpuri used the opportunity to introduce Singapore to an eager young audience. We're a small country, but we have got the greatest food in the world. So I hope that some of that you get to taste today. And taste it they did, washing it down with chrysanthemum and green tea, many students cleaning their plates and declaring themselves Singaporean for the day. The food is really different, but it tastes really good. And like the ambassador said, it's really healthy for us. And you cleaned your plate. Does it make you want to go to Singapore one day? Uh, yeah. What do you think it's like there? It's probably really tropical. Doing good. It's stuck in my mouth. It's stuck in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> but do you like the taste of it? Yes. While they munched, there was a fashion show featuring traditional clothing from Singaporean communities. And this event is not just about introducing Washington school children to Singaporean food, but to its diverse culture and traditions as well. After lunch, the children went to three separate activity stations representing Singapore's Chinese, Malay and Indian traditions. The local school system says the partnership with Singapore's embassy helps expand the worldview of Washington's next generation. A lot of our students can't afford to get out of the country, um, so instead of uh, bringing them to a different country, we bring the different country to them and we bring them different cuisines and different activities. Simon Marks, Channel News Asia at Alice Deal Middle School in Washington.